So in 2013, Citaloon was awarded a contract in Copenhagen to renew the lighting infrastructure here in the city. And that was to come up with a, a really new design for the city, a design of how the lighting should look in the future to achieve the city's key objectives. Now there's around 47,000 luminaires in Copenhagen today, but a key part of this project was to renew around 20,000 of the luminaires. So we undertook the luminaire renewal, we undertook renewal of a large number of masts and street lighting cabinets, and we also undertook to install what we call a smart communications network in the city, so that we could connect the luminaires to the smart network. Now Muse is Citaloom's own asset management and remote management um, computer network that we use to manage the city's assets. All of the city's assets are listed inside Muse. We can see, are these assets available? Are they working? And of course, when we encounter problems, we can dispatch our technicians, our electricians to the assets um, that are listed in Muse. They can go out into the city and rectify any problems. We achieve three key objectives. Reduce costs by replacing the old luminaires with very efficient LED, which significantly reduce the energy consumption. Improve safety, so ensuring a high quality of light to improve the safety of public areas and reduced um, carbon emissions to help the city achieve its long-term objectives. It's really important to try and achieve a balance between the three objectives and not over-prioritise one too much over the other. The change of the streetlight originates in the Copenhagen climate plan to be CO2 neutral in 2025. The large energy savings uh, done in this project uh, proved to be a positive business case, which is one of the key arguments uh, in the approval of this project, together with the improved uh, streetlight system for the citizens. The project uh, secures a better uh, and more stable streetlight system for the citizens, uh, a, a higher uniformity for pedestrians and bicycles, and the change from the orange, orange sodium lamps to the white LED gives a better orientation in the entire traffic space. The CO2 abatement of more than 3,000 tons of CO2 each year is a benefit for everyone. And if Copenhagen achieve their goal in being CO2 neutral in 2025, Copenhagen will become the first CO2 neutral capital in the world. Copenhagen was one of the true first smart cities in the world. This wasn't a common thing to do, to connect 20,000 streetlights, luminaires, to a smart communications network. As far as I'm aware, this was one of the first case studies of this type in the world. It was also a new rollout for the Muse platform, Citaloom's asset management tool. This was the first time we'd applied it in this kind of context to remotely manage luminaires. So there were many things that were new. And of course, not everything goes to plan. But what it did do was it allowed us to learn and develop really good new solutions that we can now use in other locations. There are many possibilities in the further use of the network but right now we are taking one step at a time to secure uh, the further development. The network and the MUSE system is now four years old and we're still improving uh, the system uh, together with Citilum, our maintenance partner. <laughs>